should be good. Not too much there. A little bit go like that. And we're going to let TikTok in as well. Because why not? All right. Hello, guys. You never hit TikTok. It didn't go. Son of a biscuit. That's a sign. Janie, don't do it yet. Spend some quality time with the YouTube family. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, <laughs> here's the deal. We both got some good looking dinners, right? Um, I've got cheese fries, hot dog burritos. Instead of using tortilla wraps, I went and made a cheese fries, uh, like tortilla. Hello, Abby. Hey, Abby. How are you? And then I put some hot dogs in there. Rolled that some bitch up and put some Doritos in a basket. Hey, Chrissy Power. I think this is going to be good. Hello, Emmy. Hey, Emmy. My best Chrissy goals. Power. <laughs> Hi, Emmy. Just... How are you, girl? Hey, Kaki's got a nice, big, I'm <clears throat> calling it this. You don't have to, but it looks like a chicken Big Mac. It's a crispy chicken sandwich. Crispy chicken. I actually saw somebody make this on TikTok, and I was like, oh, this looks really good. So I'm going to try it. Hi, Angie. I think I used too much chicken. <laughs> well, I'll take a Hello, bite. Angie. You can take a bite of mine. I keep on looking at my burrito, and I keep on thinking about SpaghettiOs. Oh, like dipping it in SpaghettiOs. Oh. Yeah. There's always, there's always, um... Hey, Mama Llama. Hello, Angie. Always ideas Angie, for next time. Angie, how you time. been? What's, What's up, Mama Llama? Did you guys see the video? What do you think? Would you eat it? I think, I think it's gonna I would be, eat it. I think it's gonna be good. Yeah, but it might be good, but I don't know. Hot dogs belong in bread. Like, we don't have any hot dog buns, right? Mm, I don't think so. These hot dogs were supposed to go on a bagel, believe it or not. I got keto bagels. Well, we bagels. have bagels. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not gonna waste all that. Abby said I saw the video. Would you attack it, Abby? Abby? <clears throat> would you eat it? I when think Jamie pitched the idea to me, I was just like, oh my god. It came out of left field. What's up, John? I was like, that's going to work, number one. And number two, it's going to be really good. Kat went to the store tonight, and um, I was very tired. So I was like playing with the dogs, and then I just I kind of got comfortable on the couch. And I just laid there for a little bit. And she's like, are you thinking about dinner, or are you sleeping? And I said, I'm thinking, which I was. He was sleeping. I wasn't sleeping. Did you hear me snoring? You're not the snore asleep. Well, regardless, <laughs> got to snort to sleep. I said, go to the store because our store doesn't always have the six, four, seven bagels or the, that bread. The four, yeah. So I the said, four, six, seven ones. my dinner is going to revolve around hot ham and cheese bagels, <laughs> like school lunch. Those are one of my favorite things to, to do. I said, maybe instead of ham, I'll do hot dogs. And then Kaki came home with the bagels, had everything. And then I said, game changing plan. <laughs> and I told her about this idea. And she goes, oh. Yeah, so, it was like, it was late though. It was like, I don't know, like 9 30. And I was like, all right, if that's what you want to do, let's do it. <laughs> it's your dinner. I like hot dogs. So, no. But uh, I bet it will be good. But we'll find out together, Abby. Have you done the, the have you done the, any more chips in the freezer since your first experience? That you have. I don't know if I told you guys this last night, but I had Cheetos waiting for my pizza last night. I was eating pizza. I was eating Cheetos. Oh, you were eating Cheetos before your pizza even got here. Because it, it felt like the pizza was taking longer than usual. Yeah, the pizza took a long time. <sighs> that I'll tell you. I'll tell you something. But with the combination of me being tired last night and me being full from pizza, um, it's good to screw up. And I and I and last night wasn't necessarily a screw up. It was a planned screw up, but I always realize why I don't, why I don't. Especially it screws up the video. It screws up the food. It screws up the stream. The stream. It always puts me like uh, it gives me that perspective of okay, you know what happens when you do this. So it feels good when you're doing it, but the aftermath is not so pretty. <clears throat> so it would be a while before I do that again. Well, just know that the leftover French toast that Jamie did not eat, our daughter ate for dinner. Yeah, she had some bacon with she that. She literally asked me breakfast for dinner. I was like, what do you want? She goes, French toast. I was like, oh. I think she saw my TikTok video. Okay. 
<laughs> it's been two days and I'm still laughing over Jamie's taking Kaki's pork chop. That oh was yeah, good... I mean, what's up, Mama Pert? Over on TikTok, that was a good, uh, that was a good clip. Yeah, like he literally stole it and I went to go cut it and it was gone. And I was just like, it was like a cartoon. Hi, Brandy. It was, it was like perfect a cartoon. Timing. Hi, Mama Pert. It was Hello, perfect Brandy. Timing. I'll tell you another thing. That pork chop was good, and I don't eat pork chops. I make some badass lot. pork chops. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. I probably eat pork chops maybe once a year. This year might be the first they didn't do it. I was doing. There was a time where I was doing pork chops like twice a month. And you know what I mean? And then I just stopped because it messes with my teeth. Same thing with steak. See, no, I don't understand that. I love steak and I love pork chops. I like them both too, but when it messes you up and it doesn't make you, you know, it makes you feel a certain way, you kind of learn what's going to work with your body and what's not. They will, they look, the way you look at her plate and then look at him was hysterical. I loved it. Perfect couple <laughs> moment, yeah. You know what, Emmy, you know what's funny about that? Is that, I think it was Jessica LaRue that, Tag the timestamp like in the it's comments, August. and it was like the perfect timing because like I literally looked away to read a comment, and oh. I turned back. My pork chop was gone, and, but Every. I didn't realize it was gone. And I like took my fork and my knife, and, I, and then I looked at Jamie. Yeah, <laughs> was a foot long. What the that hot was dogs? Perfect. We go. Uh, we shop at. Um, we stop. We shop at a a bunch. All of our stores carry the foot long sabrettes. And we, we got these at Stop and Shop. Yeah, Stop and Shop. Hey, Nancy. And then Edward hey, says, Nancy. you look like a handsome renegade version of Ben Roethlisberger. Roethlisberger. Hope you don't mind me saying. Not I don't even know who that is, but you get that all the time. I get, I don't know what he looks like. I don't I know, know. <laughs> what football team he plays for, but I do know his nickname is Big Ben. And then I also... I'm going to have to Google Ben Roethlisberger when we're done. <clears throat> Hey, Chrissy Tower. I didn't even see you, girl. Hello, Munchkin. Oh, you guys shop at the Bougie, the bougie Supermarket? <laughs> stop, stop and shop? shop? Well, yeah. They're, they're, listen, they're becoming expensive. Are they're they, not cheap no more. Is that why they're called Bougie? I guess, yeah. Well, it's, uh, listen, I mean. I want to know what the cheap supermarket is. Where is that? Yeah. Where's that at? I want to know. What's Cat having? She made a crispy chicken sandwich. Looks like a Big Mac. Crispy chicken burger sandwich. I literally took ground chicken and then coated it in pangos and then topped it with Swiss cheese. Oh my god, Jamie, taking your pork chop? I watched over and over. I was laughing too hard. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. It was like the time of the moment. Like I literally went back to like eat it and it was gone. I looked at it and was like, poof. Done. Regular Done. supermarket. So shop right is over is 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 cheaper than stop and shop. That's that's different. I from don't. We are. Hmm. Hello, Melissa. I think it depends where you live because honestly, shop right's more expensive for us than it is stop and shop yeah. for certain things. For certain things. So if money was not an issue, and we wanted we didn't and we just had a lot of it to blow when it came to grocery shopping, I would prefer to shop at ShopRite. Plus, our Stop and Shop changed their shit around, and I hate when stores, you know, change everything. You gotta learn the aisles all over again. You know, it's a pain in the butt. And they got this big robot that follows you around. Who? Oh yeah, the creepiest, the creepy, our kids call it the creepy cleaner. And that's what I dubbed it, the creepy cleaner. Do I look like? that's what it is. Do I look like someone's gonna steal from the grocery store? I don't I think, think so. I think it's gonna be bomb enough. I think it's gonna be good. What's up, Quality Frank? How are you? I hate when my local Walmart gets sh shot up. And you can't shop. Yeah, that stinks, Shane. That does stink. Camera two. Now I'm here. Here she is. What's Hello, up? Hello, Emmy. Welcome, camera two. Should change my angle? Well, you know what, Ab <laughs> Abby. Sometimes, um, some some. Hey, Noreen. Hello, Jimmy. Some people watch the chat and they'll 
you know, read the questions and, and, and stuff. So it's easy to miss little things like that. Macho Man, Randy Savage is back. I think I should cut this in half. What is the green drink made of? It's all fresh vegetables. I think I should cut it in half. Fresh vegetables, fresh fruit, garbage. <laughs> Joking. Junk food, not garbage. That <laughs> robot scared the shit out of me. <laughs> was that stop and shop? One day by me, right behind me. Yeah, that thing's creepy. It is creepy. I honestly don't think it just detects, you know, spills. It detects, it detects stuff. One to ten, boys and girls. Where am I going with this? Over, under ten, maybe a five. Lots of cheese. Belly bomber for sure. But tomorrow's Friday. You know what that means. <laughs> Cookie corner will be booming. What's up, Sal? That means pizzas and cookies. Maybe not pizza. Okay. Hello, Pam. Come hmm. now, Yeah. Well, I'm gonna get a knife for mine because I think mine's like too beefy. Definitely a belly bomber. Hello, Rose. How's the new job? It's all right. I get to be the new guy every week, it seems, because I'm still, you know, floating around. Brandy says a six. I'm gonna go a little higher than a six. It's not, oh my, listen, if I had hot dog buns, I would have put them on a hot dog bun. But I didn't, I had cheese. And cheese will have to do. Chrissy Power says 9.9. .9. Jamie, look though. Like he wanted to laugh, but he was serious, eating that damn pork chop. Of course, Munchkin. Gotta keep it cool. Gotta keep it serious, you know what I mean? I didn't mean it for to be like this big. Jesus Christ. Just checking in from Boston. I'm the new guy, too. What's up, Robert? How are you doing? I remember your story. How's, how's the new life? Um, how are you adjusting to it? I want to get the hell out of New York hey, so Dr. bad. Hey, Doctor Jiggly Pants. How so new, Doctor Jiggly Pants. What's up, buddy? <laughs> I want to get out of New York so bad. So oh, bad. We both do. I was so afraid this burger was gonna be dry, but it's not. Perfect. Yo, an old can of chicken for dinner? That's not good. It's awesome here. I'm happy you're. Listen, jealous? Yes, but. Oh, uh, thank happy. you, Cindy, for the gifts. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm always happy and excited when someone. Gets a, a fresh start. And if it's better for them and their family, more power to you. You need a vacation? I'd say I need vacation. Um, oh, I need a vacation. But I'm not going to say that. I'm going to say we need a vacation. We need a vacation. We need a vacation. Jamie, I'd love to see your spin on a nacho dish. I cut my damn lip. Um, I did a, a big, a crazy thing. Of, I did pizza nachos. Like, uh, I don't know, two months ago. When did I have the podcast with... Um, Born to be Red. Born to be Red, yeah. Uh, it's been like... It's like two, a little over two months ago, I did a crazy yeah. nacho thing. Been a while. I love coming and seeing guys. Oh, thank you, Melissa. Your oh. vibe in kitchen always reminds me of weird science. Is that weird? No. No. Tell me this. For those of you that watched the last night's stream and we were like half both of us almost looking like zombies, doesn't the dream tower bring the kitchen alive? It felt like something would, was missing. Well, you're the one that didn't bring it up. I was so tired. And just, I just wanted to go to bed. Oh, I know that. That's why I brought most of it up for you. I know, you. you were the, you were freaking. <laughs> you, I saw you sleeping and I was like, all right, I'll just bring it up for him. He just has to get that. I mean, he didn't even get that. <laughs> oh. I wasn't bringing that up because I didn't want to break anything. My milk again. I'm so sorry for the hang up. I feel, I feel so, so bad. bad. My daughter said you did, said... Did you just hang up on your MILF from New York? Yeah, what was up with she, that, Munchkin? She dropped her phone. 
And you accidentally And she Kevin. accidentally butt dialed me. And then when she picked it up, I was like, hey. And then like it was a click. And I was like, all right. It was definitely a butt dial. I already knew it was a butt dial. There is no need for explanation. Good evening, Robin. Because I butt dial. I butt dial my bestie all the time by accident. If I'm going to hang up the phone, if I'm talking to like Jamie or like his mom. Like when I hang, if they don't hang up right away, I'll it's hit right, the hang Melissa. up. But if they hit the hang up and then I go to hit the hang up, my bestie's <laughs> name is right there. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. I butt dialed you. Like we don't ever talk on the phone. <laughs> we never talk on the phone. We always text. Cheese fries, hot dog, burrito. You stir fry. I stir Jamie. Oh, those cheesy, glizzly pockets. Yeah, basically. Basically. You know what it needs? Macaroni salad. I have macaroni salad in there that I made. No. No. Yeah, no. I know what you want. I want my macaroni mm -hmm. salad. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Jade. What'd you do? What'd you do to get fired? I know that feeling. Dude would be good. And I love fake crab salad. I like all fake stuff. Like the, the um, frozen stuff. You know what my problem is? I'm a big school lunch fan. Always have been. You can act like it looks disgusting and you're about to eat something. Like, I can't believe I'm about to eat this. But you know damn well you're enjoying each bite. That's what I used to do. I used to come, I would sit down with my tray. And then all my friends and stuff would be around me. And they'd be bringing their own lunch. And they had some good stuff. And I'm about to eat whatever the lunchroom made. And I would look at like... And I'm, in my head, I'm looking forward to biting whatever it was. Mm. Mm. Wonton soup, sesame chicken, lo mein noodles, and cheesecake here. That sounds delicious. That sounds like a joint up my alley. You love the schoolhouse squared pizza? Yeah. I loved the hamburgers. My school didn't give cheeseburgers all the time, but the hamburgers were damn delicious. I liked Sloppy Joe's, I liked the tacos. My favorite was Meatball Hero Day. I always would get double when it came to Meatball Hero. Ba, 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 ba. I would buy two lunches. You're so chill, fam. Thank you. I, see, I didn't get chicken gravy. I miss pigs in a blanket. Mini corn dogs are always fire. You I've must never be. had mini corn dogs at work, at, at school, never. Never, you never, must, never. never. You, you, we had like the generic, we had chicken nuggets, we had hot dogs, we had hamburgers, we had pizza, like we had the generic stuff, like we didn't have corn dogs. You no. must be uh, <laughs> born in the 2000s. I was back in the 80s, the late 80s, early 90s, we had like the generic stuff. What's up, monster drink? How are you? It's okay. It's School okay, nachos or Emmy, Emmy, we didn't, I didn't get nachos. I didn't get nachos either. No. I work in a school. It's way different. Such stimpy lunch. Skimpy lunch. <clears throat> yeah, Noreen, I would probably have to say like, yeah, your lunch is, the lunch is probably skimpy because when I pick our kids up from school, they're starving. Literally starving. To where they come home and I give them a snack and then one another snack and another snack. And I'm like, what the heck did you eat? And then they tell me, I'm just like, wow. Our kids are both chunky it's, though also, so we No, got it's not just too. our kids. It's not just our kids because the mom group that I'm a part of. I wouldn't even answer it, Munchkin. You the, couldn't do it. The mom group that I'm a part of that is like within the school district, they're also saying like, are your kids coming home starving? Yeah, yeah. because their portions are so small. Their portions are really small. I, which I, I don't understand. I'd be like, what'd you got? I, I'd ask my son, like, what'd you eat for lunch today? And he'd, yeah, he'd, and he'd he say said something my like, son too. cheese yeah. sticks. Like cheese sticks? What do you mean cheese sticks? They get they get like cheese they get like cheesy bread sticks that they dip in sauce. Mm. Or they get like mozzarella sticks or they get like chicken nuggets, but it's not a whole lot of food. You know what? You wanna know something funny, uh, Emmy? Yeah, once he gets in the car, yeah, my our son too. What's up, Even Adam? our daughter the minute she gets out of school, like after she's done like running around playing with her friends, she's just like, I'm hungry. 
Yeah, and but it's literally I'm hungry until like she goes to bed. Regardless, I would come home and the first thing I would do was get a snack. I mean, when I was in Baldwin and I went to steal school, we were allowed to go home for our lunch break. I would just, because I was so close to the school. Yeah, even Orange just said, home. it's so small, Kathy. Yeah, their portions are small. Their portions are very small. So our kids come home starving. And like swallow half the refrigerator. You do that anyway. No, they come home starving because their lunch isn't adequate. You had Pizza Hut in your school? Damn. When I send our... What, our what school did doesn't... you go to? Pizza Hut? I had McDonald's in my high school for my senior year. But I don't eat McDonald's. Wait, what? Yeah. A McDonald's restaurant? They would get McDonald's on Fridays. No, no, no. He had a Pizza Hut in his school. Oh, I don't know if we had a McDonald's in our school. I was about to say, like, I know where you went to school. There's no there, damn no, way you got a McDonald's there in was, your school. There was McDonald's on Fridays. McDonald's on Friday. I don't eat McDonald's, so I never ate lunch either because I used my I used my lunch period for chorus and band. So, Melissa, I did not hear about that. Kaki told me when I when she picked me up from work. Does anybody know what happened to uh, Jerry Springer? Was it old age? Great cancer. Oh really? Wow, so that's pancreatic can... cancer. Hello, M Stamp. I'm homeschool. I definitely eat a lot of flack for it. What? A, a lot of flack for what? I try to get them to drink water or juice with it after school food. I love Jerry Springer. Pancreatic, Pancreatic cancer. cancer. Remember the Razor Ramon episode of Jerry Springer? Uh, I just saw that clip today because I guess people are. It was so weird because I literally heard Jerry Springer died and I like was literally scrolled like two videos on my TikTok and I saw it and I was like, wow. Steve was on it? Oh, he's a oh, security Steve guard? Wilkos, yeah. So Jerry Springer, I, I listen, did I watch the show when I was younger? Only because my mom was into all those talk shows. My mom loved Ricky Lake. Which I loved Ricky Lake too. I had a big crush on Ricky Lake. I loved Ricky Lake. I loved all of them. Um, and uh, my mom still watches <laughs> that shit. Like from time to time. <sighs> Sally. Yeah. Sally Raphael. Did your kids like the Bosco sticks? The cheese sticks that go with the sauce? I would mm -hmm. think. Hey, Tracy. I would think so. Yeah, I would think they would probably like something like that. I don't know if they have anything like Bosco sticks. I don't know. Yeah, Jenny Jones <gasps> and Sally Jesse Raphael. Sally Jesse Raphael. Maury. I loved her so much. Maury. Who's the bald guy? You know what? Maury? Steve Wilkos. No, that no, no. was. No, no, no. Montel. Montel. Oh, Montel Williams. <laughs> oh, I forgot about him. I called his ass Montel. <laughs> Ricky Lake was the best. <laughs> Donovan? I don't know who that is. Mm, I don't remember Donovan. Dr. Phil, obviously. Dr. Phil, I'm familiar with. Oprah. I don't know who the hell Geraldo is. Geraldo Rivera? You don't know who Geraldo is? Oh my god. Where's Geraldo? Geraldo? He, oh my god, I love his show. I loved him so much. Arsenio Hall, yeah, that's you. I know who he is. Dr. Phil is fake. Yeah. I like Dr. Phil. I would have to agree, Dr. Phil, I believe is fake. You don't think Jerry Springer's show was real, right? It's at the end My of best the... friend went to the one of the filmings of that. Katie. Yeah. You don't think that there's actors? That she... they're like C level oh, actresses no. and actors. There's if you, there's lots of people that you could see got who got you know what I mean. Um, Pat, Pat Sajak show. I didn't know he had a show before the Wheel of Fortune. Um, oh yeah, Jerry Springer. Jerry Springer was definitely fake. Number one. It was definitely entertaining. Fake, but you can't say it wasn't entertaining. Mhm. Mm Mine to my mouth. Sally Jeffrey Raphael was like my number one go-to when I came from home school. I was put her on. My number one go-to when I came home from school was TRL. Oh yeah, TRL Not too. a damn talk show. This is before TRL. 
Need to move camera over. Thank you, Jester. Hi, Shirley. How you doing, girl? Why don't you look at that camera? Why would you I'm say that? I'm not paying attention. I'm looking at the comments. I'm not paying attention. And then even there, people can see me. Not really. Sorry. Is that better? Jenny Jones. Why does that sound so familiar? You don't Jenny know who Jones. Jenny Jones is? Okay, so I homeschool my daughter. You guys must be pretty young. Who, us? I'm young. Haggy's. Mm. I'm 39. Jamie is 37, about to be 38. Hello, Nancy. Yes, we have kids, Robin, but we're not going to discuss their ages. Yeah, we don't go into details about those little trolls. Crop goblins, as I like to call them. I think I have a wrestling problem. <laughs> no, you don't. I mean, we're good. Don't worry. Do you watch the Ellen show? I used to watch Ellen DeGeneres. I do not watch Ellen. I used to watch Ellen. I haven't watched her in a while. You know what's funny? Jim used to do like the Ellen dance. What? You used to do the Ellen dance. I used to watch Ellen. <laughs> and then like... You used to do the Ellen dance. <laughs> I used to do the thing. I used to flip. When I tell you I used to bother Kaki all the time, I would bother the oh, shit out of Oh, he her. would... And I would imitate would certain annoy things. The hell out of me. And when I would do the Ellen dance, I would always go next to Cat and try to do it. So I would be doing it, and then I would go to sit down, and then I'd be like, <laughs> "I'm just going to sit down." I'm like, "Oh my god, leave me alone." The best ever, because like I don't really bother her anymore. Sometimes <laughs> I do, but I used to do it to a degree where she would get so mad, and if I was really good, you she would be half asleep and she would laugh. Oh, Maury, too, yeah. You know what's funny? Maury just Eat came... crud! <laughs> that night was the best one. <laughs> he was pissing me off so bad one night. I was trying to go sleep because I had to work. I had to be up early. He's just messing with me. And I went and looked at him and I was like, Eat shit! And he goes, Eat crud! <laughs> and the I just I... died laughing. Because we were watching The Breakfast Club and it was on regular <laughs> TV, so they bleeped out the certain things, certain words. Oh, I remember the Rosie O'Donnell show. Yeah, me Hell too. yeah, I do. NWO. Was Ricky Lake in the movie Cry Baby with Johnny Depp? Yeah. She was? Yeah, she also plays Doug Heffernan's sister. Oh, yeah. On, um, Dan Queens. Mm hmm I stole that, uh, Emmy. Mm, Phil Donahue, I forgot about him. I've never heard that name before. Oh, yeah. Hey, here's the thing. At school, I used to watch all of these shows with my grandma. My grandma was super invested. You didn't go out and hang out and with your friends? When I was young, like in the second, third grade, I didn't go out at, with friends. Oh. Like after school. I was super invested with all of these shows because that's what we would do after school. I never I would seen get hairspray. a snack. And then I would hang out with my grandma until my mom got home. Well, oh, Oprah, Oprah is the original. Oh, right? Oprah, yeah. Oprah, I don't like the new belt. Positive vibes. I've been getting asked that question every single night. I do. I'm not a fan of the new belt. Emmy, did you see Roderick Strong on AEW last night? I am a fan of. Oh, Joan oh. Rivera. I forgot about Joan Rivera. See, that name sounds familiar. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't know who she is. She passed away many years ago. Me too, Kathy. You watch all the shows. Yeah, Noreen. I guess, you know. I watched Power Rangers when I was younger as soon as I got home. I used to watch all the talk shows with my grandma. And then when I stayed home sick. That's when I watched it. The thing, when my mom I stayed was home them. sick, it was The Price is Right. And then it was, there was two soap operas that my grandma was into. Burrito's good. The Old I and the Beautiful was one of them. And then there was another one. A Long Life to Live or something. I forget the name of it. Burrito's good. I didn't rate it. I'm going to go and say it's a 8.8. .8. I didn't watch Chuck Norris. I know who he is, though. Want to hear something? I'm like a lot like our son. If I could figure out a way to stay home, I would. And when I stayed home from school... It doesn't help that you give him tips. If he could pull it off, more power to him.
and he's pulled it off a couple times, but he rats himself out at the end of the day. And I always Not the wrestlers, thank you. That was it. I always mm -hmm. I always tell him, I said, listen, you know, if you do it and you're successful, fine. I had nothing to do with it. And to his credit, when he confesses, he never brings my name in it. So, you know, and like I said, sometimes he does, it, what he's trying to do doesn't work. Hello, Mr. Jimmy Jam. Well, well, well. He scammed me this one time. Jimmy Jam is here. Better hide your grandmas and earmuff those kiddos because Sorry, Jimmy's Sorry, goodbye, work. Okay, Maureen, you have a good night. Hello, Jimmy Jam. How are you? All my children never watched that. I, I got sucked into the show called Passions. I never heard of that. But what I was saying before we started talking about a different show, when I stayed home, it's not like when you're an adult where you just want to relax. When you're a kid and you stay home from school, you want to play with your toys, you want to just do whatever. You don't want to sleep unless you're really sick. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. My mom would always clean, listen to music, or watch her talk shows. Thank you, God, Melissa. Somebody knew what I was talking about. <laughs> I would either watch whatever she was watching, or she would let me sleep or lay down in her bed. With, and she had a water bed. And I would watch. I remember this one time specifically. I had a really bad migraine. I wasn't faking it. I was home with a legit reason. And I had a WC. I had one WCW VHS. And I don't remember which pay-per-view it was, but it was, <clears throat> it was six of all people, right? I think it was six and Juventus Guerrero. Cousins? Who, me and Kagi? No. Waterbeds always mess with my stomach. Damn, waterbeds were popular. I'd buy a waterbed if I had the money. Would you sleep on a waterbed? Hell no. Oh no, my aunt and uncle had a waterbed. No way. Mm -mm. What's up, Michael? Kaki, I can't figure out what you're eating, what you're having. Okay, Lisa Marie. So this is a crispy chicken sandwich that I made some like ground chicken that is on a seeded bun with <clears throat> lettuce, tomato, avocado, and some sweet baby Ray's secret sauce. Jimmy Jan, did you ever have a water bed when you were younger? Or maybe you have one now. Yeah, I don't feel good. I don't like waterbeds. Did you sleep on a waterbed? Who slept on a waterbed? There's a Freddy Krueger scene involving a waterbed. I'll never forget. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. And I won't forget it either. I am terrified of Freddy Krueger. <laughs> but those of you that are here for a while, you know that. Uh, Jamie is the future Macho Man in... Oh, Todd. Get out of here. You guys are awesome. I like the so sound you, you. The sound they make when you slap them. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that would make a weird sound when you slap them. Never Not owned one, but laid on one. They were horrible. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever. Um, I don't know. I mean, I would love to know, hear somebody that owns a waterbed or maybe used to own a waterbed and what their reasoning for having them was. Did you buy it because they were a trendy thing and it was popular to have? I think it was popular back like in like the, the 80s and 90s. I think it was popular, yeah. to be quite honest. Rest in peace to the water bed sheets. Entire pregnancy, geez. There was some baby love to it. And <laughs> come up with a new position. Mama Llama had one too. What was your, what did you like about it? And what was your reasoning for getting rid of it? And Satan sheets. Oh, well, Lisa it. Marie said, I love my water bed and I slept in it my entire pregnancy. You had one in middle school? Wow. I had a, I had a mattress in middle school. I slept Me on too. the damn floor. I slept on the floor. I had an actual bed, like with a frame. I actually had a day bed. Oh, no. <laughs> See, when I was in middle school, it was cool to have a futon as your bed, which were horrible. Like, you slept like shit, but it was cool because it got to fold up like a couch. Me and Khaki's first bed together was two bunk beds 
Push it together. was your childhood bed pushed together, and then we broke them. Yeah, <laughs> we broke them. <laughs> broke one. Too much, uh, <laughs> too much John Cena Umaga action wrestling. Too much body slamming going on there. <laughs> True story. When Kaki moved in with me, I took the beds and pushed them together, and it worked. I had a pull-out bed. Kaki, I just took a bite from your sandwich. Jamie, I accidentally sneezed over yours. My bad, bro ham. <laughs> you don't like you don't like mine dinner tonight, Jimmy? I don't know why I was craving hot dogs tonight. Hello, uh, Cortland. I had a futon in middle school. It was the best. Next to my neon phone and private line. Hmm? Who looks sad? I don't, I'm not sad, I'm tired. I did have a very emotional kind of night. Though. Hello, Fort. What about the beanbag chair? Oh, I had one of those. Yeah. I had the beanbag chair. Tomorrow's Friday, I'm not sad. I had the beanbag chair. I had a giant inflatable chair. That was a 90s though. A giant inflatable chair. It's cheese fries burrito. Inside is a hot dog or hot dogs. I'd like a water, water, water now though. We always sleep on water bed. We always sleep on water bed. My grandma's belly flops hurt bad on those things too. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I'm not a fan of a water bed. Nope. It's too much moving. If somebody else like. Say, like, we're sleeping, and Jamie decides to roll over. Guess what's going to happen? Abby, that's what Jimmy... Ugh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to feel this motion. I'm going to wake up. No, hell no. Mm -mm. Not um, about that. Abby, Jimmy we Jam said... Jimmy Jam calls it Hawaiian brunch. <laughs> <clears throat> I had a futon for years. I enjoyed it. Jamie, you heard that crunch on this? Yeah, some of the cheese is... Uh, it's crispy. We'll be... Installing a solar panel soon. Excited about that. I have the urge to slap one now, though. Slap what? A waterbed? What slapping are we talking about here, Emmy? Slapping a waterbed. It makes a weird noise. Sounds like you're slapping a butt cheek. My bed is this Tepropedic adjustable vibrating bed. I never needed a man to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> What's yeah. up, Kimmy? Had a whopper? A, <laughs> oh, Kimmy. We have a temper critic, too. It's hot. Wait. But it doesn't adjust, and it doesn't vibrate, unfortunately. 8.8, .8 M-stamp. I think that's fair It just absorbs body heat and makes you super duper hot on it freaking wrong. Yeah. <laughs> M-stamp, 8.8 .8 is fair to say. Um. <laughs> he said I never knew that. <laughs> oh, Corey. <laughs> Do you, that's a good question. Do you ever feel your content is getting old? And if so, what do you do to try and change it up? Uh, I never... It's funny you say that, Charles. It's getting to that time where uh, a couple of things need to be shaken up. You know, with my videos. Instagram, I'm doing a good job with. I don't know what I want to do yet with TikTok. And then the YouTube thing, you know, is... Uh, YouTube is kind of... <laughs> I'm happy at where it is and I'm happy what I what I put out there but yeah um, I wouldn't say it's getting old but it, my recipes are always evolving so you know if I didn't have anything new coming out I would say yes but I'm about to make a little change just to make things <laughs> new again on the TikTok side of things just a legit question. Yeah, I hear you. It's a, it's a legit answer. I love your stuff. Thank you. I appreciate it. Like, for instance, our set, if I were to take you guys around and show you close-ups, I was just telling Kagi before we went on, I said, tomorrow the set is getting, a, a re, or this weekend is getting revamped. You know what I mean? Batteries yeah, need to be replaced. Look. This small monitor, I don't know what happened to those lights, but it just doesn't work. The, t the, the big monitor needs new lights. The Dream Tower, um, 
Actually, that light's supposed to be green, not pink. Um, these green Court lights said have been keep out for the palm a while. Tree. Yeah, palm tree. Well, I'm gonna palm go. Palm tree's not. Palm tree's not going. Mm -mm. The palm tree is predicting our future. Where we're going to end up. We're making things fun. new? Question mark. New set time? No, just a um, like a, a, a new paint job. Mm. Yeah, Shirley, I agree. The new set. We need be... a new easier setup and take down. I agree. Shit, the new setup mm. is gonna be like this, but a lot cooler. I got some ideas for the new set. I think with this set, I think everything is gonna kind of. It's just gonna look newer because we're gonna replace batteries, replace things that like the Dream Tower. That Dream Tower looks like it's been dropped off a truck three times. <laughs> really. By the way, how's that hot dog burrito? It's good. It's good. Can't complain about it, other than I cut my lip. Oh, good night, Lisa Marie. Yeah, yeah good, good night, night, girl. A full background screen? What's Kaki eating? She got a crispy chicken sandwich. Oh, can I try yours? I'll take a small bite. So mm -hmm. Go ahead, you can finish them full. I wasn't going to go that far. Most of the good stuff's gone anyway. Like the avocado and stuff, it's gone already. I don't give two shits about avocado. But you do go live late. Yeah, midnight, usually. Oh, poor. I'll look, I've been dropped off the truck three mm -hmm. times. Poor. I need a refresh. You'll be okay, I promise. Yeah, you're, you're fine. You're good, Cortland. Jamie, we need theater up the stream, like a 7-Eleven. Or movie theater, have your juice in a Slurpee machine. That's a fact. I was and Glizzy's roasting all the time on the rotisserie. <laughs> well, the, here's the thing about the, the fruit punch, Jimmy Jam. I was just talking about this a couple of weeks ago <laughs> about having my own slush puppy machine on here. So Hello, Poker Not Joker. even a couple of weeks ago. This was recently. The garden gnome arrived. We didn't order nothing. What garden though? Hello, Liddy. Yeah. Hey, Liddy Lou. How My doing, mom's bro? into those decorations. Me, not so much. Uh, we're not going to read that because I believe you were here saying the same thing like weeks ago. I don't oh. remember you. Ooh. YouTube? Mm -mm. Don't read it out loud. And then we're like, oh, after we're like, oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I should block you, but I'm not going to. Very slick, Puck. I probably would have read it if Kagi didn't say nothing. And great minds think alike. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, you recall that too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't like people like that. And they're trying to like get a rise of people, but like that's no, that's just wrong. Thank you for the eye roll, Court. Perfectly timed. Yours is pretty good. So if I'm just missing the mm -hmm. avocado, it's like you're missing the avocado because it all slipped off. No, you can block them. Mm -hmm. Brett, she's doing it. I'm down to 147. 22 more to go. Congratulations, Kimmy. Emmy's doing a good job, too. Are you going on vacation this year? What's up, Moon Dancer? Me and Kaki are doing like a, <clears throat> a New York City getaway. But I wouldn't say we're going on like a vacation vacation. It's Kaggy Call, she's the boss. Oh, don't worry, Court. I handled it. <laughs> I just got a new job, so. I'll be off for me and my, my, my kid's uh, birthday. And then before. Good for you, Kimmy. Before Good that, for you, you me and Kat want to go into the city. Yeah. Are the TikTok viewers more hot? Well, Poker Joker. It, they could be a lot more rambunctious. You know it's I mean? not so much. We have followers on there, and then there's people that just come in and watch, and there's trolls. There's different categories of people. So, come to St. Pete, Florida. You got a job for me, Molly? 
I'll move there next weekend. I don't know where St. Pete is. Kimmy, good for you, girl. Good for you. You're on the right track. You're on the journey. You're doing the thing. Good for you, girl. Down 50 pounds. Have you heard of Manuki, honey? No. No. I was huge. You were 300 pounds, girl? Were you really? Yeah, Munchkin, you're good over here. <laughs> I don't always well, read damn. them. Well, damn. The... Damn, girl. You definitely, definitely made a huge, huge change. That's amazing. <sighs> what is Manuki, honey? I have no idea. Cortland, that's something I'm surprised you didn't even answer. Right? Usually when it Maybe comes to honey, Court you know. Maybe Cort doesn't know what it is. Cort only has a certain type of honey. Cortland's always talking about honey. He knows what Manuka honey is. Guarantee you he doesn't. <laughs> he said not sure. Oh, I thought you were a honey expert. He's not. I'm just messing up. It's expensive boogie honey. Well, it's expensive bougie honey. Bougie honey, meaning it costs money. Looks like boogie. Well, they meant bougie. In Australia, New Zealand, only get it off Amazon. It has a lot of properties. I don't pay for properties. Bougie. <clears throat> Unless I'm owning them. <clears throat> owning what? Huh? Owning what? I said I don't pay for properties unless I'm owning them. I mean, I'm not going to buy properties off of something that was like good for your health. If I'm buying a property, I'm buying a property. I'm buying a house. The honey works as an anti inflammatory. I have All right. RA. It helps, helps a lot. It. You know what I was um, thinking about doing when it comes to, you're talking about buying stuff, buying houses. I didn't tell you you could eat my onion ring. You watched me do it. I thought you were dipping. I thought you were dipping the sandwich in the sauce. I didn't tell you could eat my onion ring. I was giving you some of my cheese. Oh, no. No. Give him an inch, he takes a fucking mile. Uh-huh. Give him my chicken sandwich. Now watch my onion ring. <clears throat> Why did you give me your chicken sandwich? What was your reasoning? Because I don't want it no more. No, because you said you were full. Yeah. And then you haven't been eaten, so I'm looking at your plate. I'm like, oh, there's a nice onion ring. I, I was full from there. the chicken sandwich. Doesn't mean I was full from the onion rings and the fries. Mm -hmm. There's a difference. You noticed that? Earlier, my husband drank my soda. I was like, dude, I love those calories. Isn't that annoying? I mean, that's so annoying. Like, when you <clears> give <throat> your husband your chicken sandwich, and then I eat your onion ring. You know what else is annoying? If we're going to talk about what's annoying. Go ahead. I could go real deep right now. Go. Because you've been pissing me off with this shit. Oh, do it. I do something. Oh, do it. Jackie's got to top me. And this isn't every every day, every night thing. Oh, I hurt. I burned my thumb tonight. Oh, yeah, you should see my burn on my foot. Oh, he's got it over oh, yeah. there. I'm so he's tired. He's like, oh, I burned You're my so tired. I'm he's so like, tired. I'm going to go to sleep. I burned my thumb. I don't thumb. feel good. And yeah, I was I've just been like, feeling kind of crappy today, too. This I is burned, a everything. I burned my foot on your damn tortellinis, and I'm still recovering. <laughs> Two weeks later, my foot is still peeling skin. I'm peeling layers of skin. He's like, oh, my thumb. Let's trade my thumb, your thumb for my foot. What's annoying is when you call your fiance or your girlfriend, the bandage. Oh, thank you, Court. High five. High five. He can't see you, yes. dude. Put your yes. hand down. Yes, he can. <sighs> this is something we do every <laughs> single night after the show. Hell yeah, Court. Hell yeah. Thank you, Court. Well. <laughs> <laughs> My mom and dad. <laughs> rough night. <laughs> yeah, rough night. 
Now you realize it had me talking. You're too funny and cute. Thank you. Hi, Tasha. <laughs> yeah, mom and dad are arguing tonight, guys. Sorry. Just don't pay attention. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Think of like this. <laughs> thief, hold on. thief of uh, a thief. Here lays Jimmy Van Lemer, thief of the ring of Onionville. Cause of death, died from sharp piercing wounds <laughs> by a rusty fork. Should have gotten a tetanus shot. That's straight facts, Jimmy. Well, facts. see, the thing is, even though we were just laughing at what we were saying <laughs> to each other, what I said happens every single night. It'll happen tonight, too, with something. Happy wife, happy life. Don't touch your food. Thank you. <laughs> Fighting two Christmases. <laughs> I'm full. I'm done. Worth the choke. <laughs> Listen. I don't think Kaki's got the energy to choke me. And I don't got the strength to drink and defend oh, myself. Oh, I can muster it up. Who wants to see it? Best gift wins. <laughs> Best gift wins. Thank you, Maybe Jones. I like your name. I'm here, a scissors sister. Don't touch my Tracy. food and we'll be happy. <laughs> That's right. Tracy is going to lend Kathy the shake, probably. If I had a time machine and I could record a couple of clips before me and Kathy were doing this, like years and years ago, like 2008, 2009. Right, Corey, we watch all those shows. We know how to get it done. Of and me and my ninja it. moves taking Kathy's food. True story. I did a couple of them. And There's every single one. time, as pissed off as she was, she laughed. There's this one story where <clears throat> I had like this grilled cheese maker. Like, yeah, you guys probably know what it is. Like a grilled cheese maker, like you put the stuffing in there, you close it, and it like seals the bread on the outside. Yeah. Well, I made Jamie his sandwiches, his brother his sandwiches. They, they were eating their sandwiches while I was making mine. I made mine last. Made mine last. So, I sit down to eat mine, and Jamie's just like, I want another one. I'm like, okay. This is a low point of me. He's like, I want another one. I'm like, okay, well, I gotta wait till I'm done. Like, I literally just sat down. Like, you ate yours. I'm going to eat mine now. And he didn't want to wait. He didn't want to wait for his. So, as I'm, like, eating... I'm like mid bite, like I put it down, go to pick it up. Jamie like literally grabs it, army rolls into the corner. Over and the then coffee table. Over the coffee table. He literally like goes into like midair, flips over the coffee table, and like goes into the corner and like starts eating my sandwich. Like a damn monkey. And as mad as I was because I didn't eat yet, it was hilarious at the same time. My brother was laughing too, like he was in shock, like you really couldn't wait. It was hilarious at the same time, but I was so mad. I was so mad, but I could not help but laugh. Boys. Now that I look back at it, I'm just like, oh, I should have just punched you in your kidney. That's the real talent. <laughs> if you could piss your wife off but make her laugh at the same time, that takes talent. I've got the talent. I can piss her off at the same time. If I'm making her laugh, it's not as bad. Mm. Oh, where's the center of the center bend? Oh, Jimmy Jam, let's not bring that up. That is a sore subject. Where is the center of yeah, the center Yeah, she wasn't. Bun? She wasn't laughing that night. No, Jimmy. that night I was. Not, I was pissed that night. You ate the center of my center bun. And we've done. I that. used to fantasize putting a pillow over my husband's mm. face. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Who's to say I don't? <laughs> We've debunked that whole... If you're new in here, and you don't know what we're talking about, when the Cinnabon... Oh, the Cinnabon debacle. We've debunked this. I was 
free of charges on this one. We went back and watched the video. Jamie just mindlessly ate my cinnamon bun center. He mindlessly ate it. I literally say that's the best part of the cinnamon bun is like the middle. Is the middle. Especially when you go to cinnamon bun itself. That's the best part. He literally mindlessly ate. Mindlessly ate my cinnamon bun center. Free of charges, exactly. Munchkin or oh, Jimmy Jam. He wasn't free of charges, but... <laughs> well, Jimmy Jam, I always talk about that here. That's where the... Can I can be proven over TikTok? Well, it's been a while since we've gotten this in a bun. Over a year, Nothing actually. can be proven over TikTok. I know how to get rid of a body. Yeah, Court had said that earlier. He's like... We watch enough true crime, like like true crime, where like we can like get rid of the body and not get caught. <laughs> We're gonna be like Dexter, all saran wrapped, getting rid of bodies. <laughs> Who you and Cortland? Yeah. All saran wrapped, not leaving any ounce of DNA anywhere. You're not getting my hair. <laughs> Dexter was good. Good night, Brandy. I Brandine. love on a lake. I never heard of On a Lake. Is that a show? Court? Never throw the duct tape in the garage. In the garbage, important. Yeah, never throw the. Oh no. You never throw the duct tape in the garbage. Oh hell no. You burn that shit. Alright. Let's wrap it up. Now we're talking about <laughs> bodies and duct tape. All right. Don't leave chewed, chewed gum on the dresser. And that's another good one. Never leave your DNA anywhere. Learn that I'm forensic files. There you go, Emmy. There you go, girl. Never leave your, your gum. I don't watch those Put shows. Put your desk tape around. Mm -hmm. Don't watch those shows. Don't mm -hmm. like those shows. Can't get into those shows. Do you want to know, before we wrap it up, <laughs> Jimmy Jam, you probably know the movie because you love her just as much as me, if not more. Kelly Kapowski, <clears throat> Tiffany Amber Thiessen, was in this... Um, this is when I stopped watching those kind of shows. Uh, she was in one of those. She was in like a Lifetime movie. I know what you're talking about. And I don't remember what the movie was called, but she, um, her friends or We're gonna get or whatever, Probably. like drowned her, and it was like a murder mystery. Mm -hmm. uh, I forget the name of the movie, though. I know what you're talking about. I don't remember what it was called either, but I remember two things happened after that. I watched that. Number one, I was afraid to go into the water in the pool for the longest time and number two that lifetime movie um was the first movie that started to get me to worry about everything i would turn something into everything about me true story jimmy jam did he leave um, I don't know. All right. well, I don't remember the name of the movie, but I know what you're talking about. Because I remember watching it. Yeah, I, wa I watched it, and that was the first movie that I, I realized that anything bad I see, I'm going to find a way that it could happen to me. Well, anybody can drown. No, 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 I know that. But I'm <laughs> with everything, with the friends, and just... I did... It was... I don't remember how... It was a realization for you. Yeah. I. Well, no, but that's when I started to really look at things like, where, okay, this could happen to me. You or this at, is going you to happen looked to me. At, you looked at life differently. You looked at, like, situations differently. I was young, too. I don't remember. I don't remember how old I was. I might have been in middle school. That hot glue gun... Courtland, I haven't used that glue gun in a long time. Watch out for the hot glue gun. Hi, Molly. Come here, baby girl. You're such a good girl. Come here. You get a French fry. You ready to rev it up? All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Maybe pizza, maybe not. I don't know. Possibility, I don't do it. Don't hold your breath. Jimmy's eating pizza tomorrow. I'll hold your breath. <laughs> You'll be fine. <sighs> don't let her talk to you into a waterbed. <laughs> we don't want a waterbed. I don't want a waterbed. No, I thank you. Listen, I don't deal well with, like, water effects. <laughs> I'll get really seasick. No, so. and as much as I get in and out of the bed, 
Aggie would be rolling off the bed. And as much as our daughter likes to climb into our bed and thrash around like a yeah. shark out of water, I would never sleep. And then you would just see a bloodshot khaki on here ready to stab somebody, so. Hey, OC, <laughs> good night. Didn't even see you in here. Oh, right, yeah, OC was in here. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, have a good night, guys. Good night, good night.